Hey guys, my name is Eustace and today we're gonna cover Absolver bosses and their cutscenes. Oh yeah. Now you might be thinking, why are they talking in French? Well, they are a French indie studio, so the first language for the game is obviously French, but I'm not sure if they will do expansions for other languages. I hope they do, but I know there are subtitles for many more languages, including English, French, German, Spanish, Brazilian, Portuguese, Russian, Polish, and traditional and simplified Chinese, Japanese, and Korean coming soon after launch. Now in this boss fight, the boss plays very defensively while he sends out his minions to attack you. Even if you kill a minion, he will spawn another one to replace him. Once you get his health low enough, they will despawn and he gets his war mittens that he drops after the fight. Now you might be thinking, why does this boss look easy? Well, let me tell you. Bosses have different level of difficulties. After you defeat him the first time, which is the easiest level, you will get to challenge him again. He will then have a much higher level, which you might want to train for or just go in straight away if you feel lucky enough. But to unlock a second level boss, you will need to increase your combat trials level. And to increase your combat trials level, you will have to PvP in one of the game modes that are available, which at the start will only be 1v1. Once you have defeated this boss and several other bosses and mini bosses, you will then get the chance to go to the Tower of Adal. Once you defeat the last boss, you will get a cutscene, which we have no footage of the boss or the cutscene, so you just have to take my word for it. You will become Absolver, which is just an upgrade from your current rank prospect and you unlock a cool cape. Boss seems quite fun to play against. The minions are very weak, but they are the ones in the front lines. So I'm not sure if there will be tactics to just go straight for the boss or to kill the minion straight away and then for the boss, but you have to get the boss low in order to have a balanced fight. Now I will play this game on release, so make sure to follow my Twitch because I will stream it and teach you guys how to play if you're new to this game since I have a lot of good experience in the beta and know quite a lot about all the mechanics in the game. My Twitch is the same as my YouTube, users on PC, I will have the link in the description but make sure to follow the Volver Digital as well for Absolver streams on Tuesdays and Thursdays before the release on 6pm UK time. Yo, what the hell? Two bosses at once and both of them don't even wear masks? Well, they're not the first characters in Absolver not to wear a mask, but they look like a cute ass couple. Now, I'm gonna give you a quick tip of how to win this fight. You have to prioritize positioning because if you take two of them at the same time, you're gonna have a bad time. That's what she said. So I would say use your avoid ability that every character has. No, not the dodge ability from Windfall, but the avoid one and position yourself so that only one character from the boss fight can attack you. Now you see here, once you defeat one of the characters, the other one gets a sword. Now, don't panic because it's not a really big problem. 
but you just gotta have to play more aggressively because if you block the sword can still damage in this fight it seems like the guy character sorry for assuming that gender is using the cult style while the female one sorry for assuming the gender again doesn't show off her ability in this fight because the level of the fight is too low is that fucking absorb sword move once the boss is defeated they will drop the curved sword as a reward and you can progress towards becoming an absolver Thank you for listening to my voice and now you can just enjoy the video without my voice and see you guys next time. Thank you.